Yehovah Elohim Sva'od, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Please fill me and lead me and cover me and stir me and speak through me with your Ruach Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness and humility to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love. The Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Hosea, chapter 4. Hear the word of Yehovah, people of Israel. For Yehovah has a grievance against the inhabitants of the land. There is no truth, no faithful love, or knowledge of Elohim in the land. Only swearing and lying, killing and stealing, and committing adultery. They break all bounds with one blood crime following another. Therefore the land mourns, and everyone living there languishes. Wild animals, too, and the birds in the air, even the fish in the sea, are removed. But no one should quarrel or rebuke, because your people are having to quarrel with the Kohen. Therefore you will stumble by day, and the prophet will stumble with you at night. I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed for want of knowledge. Because you rejected knowledge, I will also reject you as Kohen for me. Because you forgot the Torah instructions of your Elohim, I will also forget your children. The more they increased in number, the more they sinned against me. I will change their glory into shame. They feed on the sin of my people and are greedy for their crimes, but the Kohen will fare no better than the people. I will punish him for his ways and pay him back for his deeds. They will eat but not have enough and consort with whores but have no children because they stopped listening to Yehovah. Whoring and wine, both old and new, take away my people's wits. My people consult with their piece of wood. Their diviner's wand speaks to them. For the spirit of whoring makes them err. They go off whoring, deserting their Elohim. They sacrifice on the mountain peaks and offer incense on the hills, under oaks, poplars, and pistachio trees. Because they give good shade, therefore your daughters behave like whores, and your daughters-in-law commit adultery. I, will pu I won't punish your daughters when they act like whores, or your daughters-in-law when they commit adultery, because the men are themselves going off with whores and sacrificing with prostitutes. Yes, a people without understanding will come to ruin. If you, Israel, prostitute yourself, still Yehuda has no need to incur such guilt. Don't go to Gilgal or up to Biet Evan, and don't answer as you have all lives, for Israel is stubborn as a stubborn cow. Will you have all now feed them like a lamb in a big pasture? Ephraim is joined to idols. Let them alone. When they finish carousing, they start their whoring. Their rulers deeply love dishonor. The wind will carry them off in its wings, and their sacrifices bring them nothing but shame. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading this fascinating fourth chapter of Hosea? We can listen and act on the written word of Yehovah, aim to correct all grievances Yehovah has against you, aim to be full of truth, faithful love, and knowledge of Elohim. Follow the written instructions of Yehovah. Aim to be united with each other. Accept knowledge from Yehovah. Remember the written instructions of Yehovah, and we will be remembered by Yehovah. Feed on the written words of Yehovah. Keep sex in marriage only. Listen to the written words of Yehovah. Stay away from wine. Consult Yehovah. Trust that purity makes your path straight, leading to Yehovah. 
Cling to Yehovah. Give to Yehovah. Serve Yehovah. Obey Yehovah. Serve Yehovah with your family. Aim for understanding. Sir, swear as Yehovah lives. Repent, turning to Yehovah. Love, honor. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can proclaim, repent, turning to Yehovah. Bear one another's burdens. Aim to correct all grievances Yehovah has against us. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. We'll end with the Arionic blessing using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. You have all lit up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Shalom, shalom.